Hey, it's Pike. Welcome back to Ad Fundum. We're just gonna go down to the next zone now, because I think we just did, we've done everything so far. So yeah, let's just load it up on stuff we want. Yeah, let's just go. Nothing stopping us. I guess let me actually check real quick. Yeah, we got a decent bit of this stuff. So that's where all the company's resources went. I can't believe my father was able to build all this in secret. Your father was capable of more than that. Was? Oscar. Let's face the facts. Your father... What? He couldn't survive? Who was I talking to then? What? Wait, that's impossible. You were trying to stop me. You were talking as if my father was dead. I didn't want me to rescue him. Is it because of disagreements about the management of the company? Or maybe it's something more global and my father stands in the way of your world? That's a big jump so far from all we know. <laughs> you know, I trusted you, Uncle. Oscar, no, you got it all. Transmission ended. Yes, let's. It's already open here. See, let's start from the top and just. I think so. Let's just go left. Let's check as well. Yeah, our automated thermal stuff. We'll probably want some more of those. Oh, I wish we should have gone straight. I need to think about that with this stuff because we can't use bombs for the moment. What a strange alloy. You can say with high certainty this is not a natural mineral. That's obvious traces of human processing. One of the alloy metals is titanium with the other. It's such, such a chemical element is not even on the periodic table. I wonder why my father was researching here. Let's just do this one. Start from the top. Need to get into the habit of doing that. Yeah, let's chat to people. Let's just get that out of the way, I guess. <sighs> 32 point whatever. Emily, what does your analysis of this layer show? Incredible, a colossal underground research complex. That's it. I won't be distracted anymore. I have detected significant deposits of uranium. Your father's likely, team's likely conducted experiments with it. But the earthquakes caused it to scatter all over the complex. Do not approach them, or try to mine them until you found protection. Also, I... And I also detect strange bursts of energy. Most likely, these are malfunctioned charging stations that seem to turn on and off intermittently. Do not approach while they are on, as you may receive an electrical shock. The rest of, your, the, rest of the time, they are safe. Thank you for your advice, by the way, Emily. How did you manage to get a job in the company? We've hardly hired anyone in the last two years. Well, in short... Your uncle helped me. He paid for my education and offered me a job after I graduated. Ah, I see. Something wrong? Hmm. 33. I guess close enough. You hear a voice with a crackle of radio interference, but you can't make out the words yet. Was it 33.2 that we grabbed it? 
Tobias, you once mentioned that you had to leave the company. Why? 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 I shot a guy. Shot? It was during the Great War. At the time, I was working in logistics and often had to stay at the warehouse until night. One night, I heard the noi a noise that made me think someone had broken into the hangar where the mechs were kept. Saboteurs, I thought, and grabbed my gun. I saw someone was lurking around a mech in the dark. I fired without warning. It turned out that these teenagers somehow managed to get into the restricted areas to see the mechs. It's good that even though I'm a genius at logistics, I'm not a good shooter, so I hit almost no one. Almost? I injured one kid, son of some big shot in the Albion administration. He survived but suffered from psychological trauma. His father was furious. He demanded my immediate execution. Nate couldn't do anything about it, so he started thinking about a plan to evacuate the continent. And this was in the middle of war. But then your uncle showed up. He went to the office of the politician, and I could only hear shouting and swearing from him inside the office. An hour later, they left the room. Your uncle looked flushed. The politician was pale as a ghost. Soon, all charges against me were dropped. However, I still had to leave the company in order to avoid any further problems. I see. So you too owe my uncle. Yeah, wait. Why did you put it like that? Don't you trust your team? Hear a voice amid the crackle of radio interference, but you can't make out the words yet. What's the furthest away? Wooden wheel? Can't be. Huh? Someone is listening to us. But a thriller, you must on comms right now. We should to an unknown contact via radio? I guess maybe it was saying, like, do the opposite? I don't know. Because that was the, like, entire opposite of the dial. 31.4. Mr. Thompson, did you know about this facility? No, sir. It was built after I left the expedition, and its construction was top secret. Now it is clear where most of the records from the previous expedition went. Hmm. In the mechs that you discovered earlier, I found references to certain ID chips. I guess they were required to open some locked doors. I advise you look for other broken mechs. They probably have the chips needed to open the doors. By the way, why did you leave the last expedition? You never told me. Hmm, that's true. The reason for that was my wife fell seriously ill. They returned to Londinium urgently. I did not have enough money to cover the cost of a treatment. Titan Fire Industries has a fund to support employees in such cases. However, without your father's authorization, no one was willing to allocate funds for me. It was impossible to contact your father at the moment. Fortunately, your uncle stepped in, for which I am grateful. I was able to pay for my wife's treatment, and she's getting better now. So that's how it was. I hope your wife recovers soon. Mr. Thompson. Mr. Forward, is something... I have nothing to discuss with this traitor. 35.6... Dad, I have so many questions. How did you manage to survive? Did anyone else make it? I managed to take shelter in one of the bunkers when a sudden and particularly strong earthquake destroyed the complex. The supplies here were meant for long-term use by a group of people, but unfortunately, I am the only person here. I do not know if anyone else managed to survive. I feel so sorry just thinking about how many people could have died. And that strange mechanical sound that I heard often after, that I hear after the earthquakes. Was it you? Yes, it was me. I tried to warn you about the earthquake, but I am not... Sure, I gave the signal in time. How? Save the rest of your questions for later. Focus on finding the terminal right now. Yes, you're right. I'm on my way. There's a mech part over there. How did ID chip one? Let's 
see if it opens this door over here. Yep. Matter compressor. That's probably a storage thing, I guess. Yeah, I need to remember to just dig to stay at the very top for when I'm digging stuff. This will still this probably will. I, I can't imagine they change it up for just this to like make it so this stuff. Wouldn't like reform and whatnot. Speaking of that though, I might wanna ah, it's fine to dig. I was thinking maybe wanna Like refor not reforge it use the braces, but oh, storage tank is full. I guess we don't want to. Maybe we can get that uranium next time. So I guess let's just... We're gonna have an earthquake soon, so let's just get some money. But yeah, let's have this open so we can actually. So I can see a yellow thing. It's not beeping at all, though. Maybe that's just what they wanted for how this one works. It, may, it might just not make any sound. I might even grab that uranium. Though I might save that for next time after this earthquake. So yeah, let's just head up. I am recording, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that we can just set off the earthquake at the very top.
experimental alloy. Yeah, we could have just sent up... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Probably storage, right? Yeah. 135 million! God damn! Guess we're just going back down. Let's grab that in uranium then. Let's actually check over here, like the earthquake did it change anything. Yeah, I still can't get up here, so the earthquake doesn't re-change, like, reshape this area. So a fuck up is a fuck up eternally. Super drills or something that we can get. Could let us. Like, drill up, maybe. Because I don't know how we do this without bombs. Save that for a moment. Yeah, he's gonna tank this shit. Chip two. Oh, I guess we are going for it. bunch let's grab this stuff from over here
And this was 135. Top off. Go all the way over here. Yeah, this was all just closed. Okay. I guess we haven't gone to the left yet. Forgot that <sighs> being overheated I can do that. Guess we're just gonna do the, another uranium run real quick, and we'll get this mech piece, I guess. Biofuel production. Forgot about the temperature again. Yeah, it's like V. Yeah. There's nothing further to the left. Not sure we could do anything to the right. Just I can't dig up here. We go down. 
can't go further to the right. Is it blinking meaning it's off? I shouldn't have done that, god damn it. I should have dug straight some more. Now I can't deal with this thing. Ignition extractor, oh god damn it. them right because there's just metal in the way. Ah, God damn it, right as it went on. Timer. I guess let's get this uranium.
I think that there was some uranium over here too. Oh, we can go out of those. Okay, that's what that is. That's like one-way doors. Because we didn't really want to do that first. Was it a 32 or 33? I think we could afford it. But let's see. Ignition extractor. Convert, but allows to convert, but not to collect. Ignition in the fuel while mining. The ignition collector is installed. Ignition will be collected, and the conversion will occur only when the max fuel level reaches zero. Nah. Well, I guess it's even cheaper then, because I got that upgrade still. It's like an extra 20% or something. But that's going to be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.